Thanks for taking a look at Bias Sound Soap 2, the easiest to use and most affordable high quality noise reduction software available for Mac OS X or Windows XP. Sound Soap 2 allows you to quickly remove clicks, crackles, broadband noise, hum, and rumble. The Sound Soap 2 package includes a standalone edition for use with programs such as iMovie and iDVD, and also includes a plugin edition for use in audio units, DirectX, RTAS, and VST host programs such as Peak, Audition, Cubase, Digital Performer, Final Cut Pro, GarageBand, Logic, Live, Pro Tools, Premiere, SoundForge, Sonar, and many others. In this demo, we'll show just how easy it is to clean up noisy media files such as vinyl recordings, cassettes, digital video footage, live music recordings, and dialogue recordings. We'll be using the standalone edition for this demo, but you may also use SoundSoap 2 as a plugin in practically any host program on Mac OS X or Windows XP. Before we jump into the demos, let's go over the various controls in SoundSoap 2. The Remove Click and Crackle slider is used to eliminate clicks and crackles that are commonly found in digital recordings of vinyl records. This is a new feature in SoundSoap 2. The Enhanced slider is used to boost low and high frequencies. It's very useful when working with recordings made from degraded media, such as old audio or video cassettes. This is also a new feature in SoundSoap 2. SoundSoap's broadband noise reduction tools include the Learn Noise button, the Broadband Mode buttons, the Noise Tuner, and Noise Reduction knobs, and the Wash Window. These controls are used to remove broadband noise such as tape hiss, needle hiss, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning noise, DV camera motor noise, buzzing, and many other types of unwanted background noises that are composed of many different frequencies. The wash window is a helpful visual aid which gives you a visual representation of the cleaning process and can help guide you in the right direction in the noise reduction process. The left half of the window shows the state of your media file before cleaning, where the red graphics represent noise and the blue graphics represent the signal you want to keep. The right half of the wash window shows the state of your media file after cleaning. Ideally, when you find the perfect settings, you should only see blue graphics in the right half of the wash window. When you use SoundSoap's noise only mode, the wash window works in reverse, and only allow red graphics to pass through the right side of the wash window. This is useful because when using noise only mode, the goal is to hear just the unwanted noise. The preserve voice filter is used when working with noisy voice recordings such as dialogue, a cappella singing, and any material where it's just the human voice without musical instruments or other audio material. The Remove Rumble filter is designed to remove very low frequency noise such as the rumble from a turntable motor. The transport controls are used to start and stop playback and also to rewind the playhead at the beginning of the timeline. The timeline allows you to navigate through various parts of a media file. The in and out point markers allow you to focus on certain parts of a media file and let you apply different settings to different parts of a file. The Apply button is used to apply or render the current settings to the selected portion of the timeline. When using the plugin edition of SoundSoap 2, the transport controls, timeline, in and out point markers, and apply button are not available. These are functions that are handled by the host program. Now that you're familiar with the various controls, let's jump into some demos and see what SoundSoap 2 can do.